good morning here in Mount Robson Provincial Park in BC as we head towards Jasper and Banff for a little bit of hiking through the Rockies. Just here on the Berg Lake Trail and uh, I've met up with someone I actually met in New Zealand. So that didn't quite work out and of course I didn't realize there was a problem with the audio until I got back from the trail. So instead of trying to make you listen to something that's almost inaudible, I will just let you know sort of uh, a little bit of synopsis of what I was trying to say. And that was from Mount Robson Provincial Park in British Columbia. And I had met up with a friend I actually met in New Zealand who was living in Vancouver. Uh, so it was really nice to be able to reconnect and do this little bit of a road trip through the Rockies together. Um, really nice experience because I've never been to the Rockies before. And this was on the Berg Lake Trail uh, in Mount Robson. And it's about 21 kilometers one way, so a full day of hiking. And on this trip, unlike previous photo trips, I did almost no planning for photography. And that was intentional. I wanted to sort of try something a little bit different. You know, with everything from Google Earth to Instagram to other people's trip reports and even other YouTube videos, we can do so much planning for a place, and we've seen it in hundreds of photos before, that when we arrive, sometimes I almost go into a little bit of an autopilot to photograph this location, as opposed to really enjoying and exploring it myself. So I wanted to give myself an opportunity to come across these places and things that I wasn't even sure I was going to be seeing, and sort of look, walk around and be able to enjoy and see these places firsthand, oftentimes for the first time with my own eyes, and then get a little bit more creative and push myself through some of my compositions, as opposed to, in my subconscious, referencing some old photos that I might have seen from other people, and sort of just going to default to shoot from that spot or something like that. So we're only about five minutes into this trail, and I'm not really sure what we'll see when, but uh, I'm really excited for Two full days of hiking through this beautiful, beautiful park. I found a great composition. The only problem is it's uh, quite precarious to get to. So we just came across that bridge there. And then I, we decided to take a look at this little waterfall that I'll show you in a second. And uh, decided to come up this rock scramble for a better view. And I was absolutely amazed. Every single step I took forward, I saw more of the waterfall. And there's actually more waterfalls. So this is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous with the multiple levels of cascading falls. I've got my tripod here in a very precarious position, but it's working. I've got the polarizer on as well as the little stopper, six stop uh, ND filter, shooting at F11, ISO 100. And when it, the sun's not out, I'm getting an exposure time of about two seconds. So really getting that, uh, the nice uh, motion in the water of the waterfalls all the way up. And it just looks absolutely gorgeous. The way that it comes out through the scene, it's sort of making a little bit of a leading line as well because you sort of follow the waterfall up to the next one, to the next one. And this is 100% not what I expected to see when I got to this little waterfall that I was seeing. And it looks absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I found this.
got a, this little side trip from the Berg Lake Trail and it's called Emperor Falls, which looks absolutely spectacular. Uh, turn it around for the noise and for the water spray, which there is a lot of. I just shot my friend Michaela here and uh, what I was doing was uh, positioning her right uh, against the really thick part of that waterfall that shoots off from the side of the rock, which looks super cool. And uh, she's wearing her blue jacket, so it really was a great sort of standing out point just from the white, white water. And of course, you've got the mountain right on top of the waterfall from this angle. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, really hard to video or get a lot of shots because every five seconds or so, you've got so much spray just coming at your lens. So trying to clean it off, get the next shot, clean it off, get the next shot. A little bit of a rush shot, but uh, hopefully it'll turn out pretty cool. Just looking at the back of my camera, uh, it looks spectacular. And even just looking at it right now, I mean, that is absolutely amazing. Love it. Lake, we made it. Oh, the uh, the last bit of that hike got a bit difficult. The sun went away, and the cloud cover definitely took over, which made it quite a bit colder. And now that we've also stopped moving, it's definitely uh, it's definitely gotten chilly. So just before we're gonna have dinner, we're gonna try and steal a few shots of this magnificent view from the shoreline here. And uh, I don't think we're gonna do anything too complicated. But I think one of the good things is that now that it's gotten quite overcast, uh, we have really, really flat lighting and it's, it definitely looks a bit moody. Definitely feels very cold. So we'll just see uh, what kind of shots we can get. Have some fun with it. So it got really cold really quickly. I, my hands are freezing and I forgot to bring my gloves. Michaela's just using my tripod now since she didn't bring it on the hike. But uh, we've switched to some long exposures after we shot each other. Well, actually, she mostly shot me walking along this beach here. And it looks really beautiful against that turquoise water and this mountain that's sort of gloomy with this overcast weather. In terms of the tripod shot that we're getting now, I left my 10 stop filter back at the camp and I'm too cold to go get it. So I did bring the 10 stop and then I was having a little bit of uh, experimentation with the ISO and the uh, aperture. So one of the things I did do was bump my ISO down to ISO 50, which is sort of an enabled setting on the Canon cameras. And I shot at F16 as well. I don't like to go above F11, but I shot F16 just for the smooth water. And then I actually got a different shot without any filters on and I'm gonna use that for the mountains. So then I get the nice smooth water. I was getting exposures anywhere between two and eight seconds. And I kind of, I think four was the sweet spot. Just with the waves coming in, it was the perfect sort of amount of smoothness that wasn't just like a glass-like surface. So just having a little bit of experimentation with the different angles and shooting some long exposures now. I'm also using the polarizer. It just helps uh, bring off some of that glare on the water. As you spin it, you can definitely see how the glare comes and goes, which is really great. So polarizer is absolutely great. Bye. 
Well, we just completed the Berg Lake Trail and uh, I'm definitely a little bit exhausted. It took us about seven and a half hours to get to our campground yesterday and closer to five getting back out. So at least uh, when you do climb the mountains, coming back down is definitely a little bit faster and easier. Today didn't take quite as many photos or videos. There was quite a heavy layer of fog that was coming quite a bit down the mountain. And although I was expecting us to have quite a bit of rain, we mostly just got drizzle, so at least we didn't have to deal with too much of that. But I just didn't find it quite as picturesque as yesterday. So I think in hindsight, we actually got pretty lucky yesterday. I think one of the things that I'm learning more and more is that on these hikes, it's hard to hard to balance the hike and the photography. Sometimes we've arrived at a, a beautiful location, but the light just wasn't right. And previously, you know, when I'm going out for the purpose of, you know, photographing a location or something like that, I have the opportunity to, to wait for the right light or to even just return at another time where when you're hiking for virtually the whole day, exhaustion and time constraints set in and so you don't have that same kind of flexibility. But you know, it's, it's still a great adventure and you still get to see tons of places that most people don't get to see. And you know, the further out you get into the backcountry, it just, it just gets so beautiful. And that hike was absolutely amazing and I, I think we got some good shots. So headed to Jasper now and uh, off for another adventure tomorrow. Thank you.